Suicide Squad may have been one of the biggest movies of 2016, and the sequel is now expected to top the charts in 2021 as well. We may not know too much about the film just yet, but it's safe to say, with the information we have, this movie is going to change everything. Let's take a look at what we know so far. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Something you could do for me, doctor. Anything, I mean, yeah. I need a machine gun. The first Suicide Squad film was expected to be one of the biggest DC movies thus far. While it may not have performed as well as some fans may have hoped, the movie did very well at the box office and led to hundreds of millions of dollars in merchandise being sold worldwide. The film premiered on August 5, 2016 in the United States and caught the rest of the world by storm, giving us one of the greatest ensemble cast films we have seen in decades. What's crazy about the original movie is that it had actually been in development since way back in 2009, but Warner Brothers was waiting for the perfect moment to sign on cast and crew to make sure the film had the best chance possible at the box office. This meant that they didn't sign with director David Iyer until September of 2014. It wouldn't be until the following October that casting had begun, leading us to the amazing cast that we ended up with in late 2016. Even though most fans seemed to enjoy the movie, it mostly received negative reviews from critics who felt that the writing wasn't great and the plot was pretty boring. But really, what did these critics know? It's the fan perception that matters. If you had been forced to sit through a dozen other movies each day, you'd probably be a pretty harsh critic as well. For the most part, it seems like fans enjoyed the film, the only critique is that most fans felt as though some of the deleted scenes should have made it into the main film as there were several plot holes that could have been easily resolved if this were the case. Other than that, the film was a smash hit. So much so that Warner Brothers has now announced that a standalone sequel is being produced, with Margot Robbie, Joel Kinnaman, Viola Davis, and Jai Courtney all returning to reprise their roles. But what does this new film mean for the series? We're about to find out. You got all dressed up for me? Oh, you know I'd do anything for you. By the way, I've got some. So what you may now know about this new film is that the name is actually super confusing. The 2016 film was known simply as Suicide Squad, but rather than naming the sequel Suicide Squad 2, the creators decided to name it The Suicide Squad. I'm not sure what they were thinking with this one, but hey, to each their own, I suppose. But seriously guys, what's up with this name? That's going to be impossible to differentiate the two when they eventually release on Netflix or some other streaming service. Anyway, the movie is set to be the 10th installment in the DC franchise and will be written and directed by James Gunn. James is a welcome change from David Iyer, who wrote and directed the first film. David has worked on films like Training Day, The Fast and the Furious, and Sabotage. While these are all great movies, David just doesn't have the amazing resume that James Gunn does. To put this into perspective, James Gunn has worked on box office smash hits like Guardians of the Galaxy. Need I say more? These are two of the greatest and most popular superhero films to have ever been made. So it's safe to say that Suicide Squad is bound to be incredible. Let me fight! You die, we die! While it's great to see that the studio is working with a top-level director and writer this time around, there are also some major changes to the cast that are bound to shake up the series in an incredible way. For one, there will be several new cast members and characters that assure us that this will likely be the greatest superhero film of the year. For one, they've signed on legends like Idris Elba and John Cena. While John Cena's career has certainly taken a new direction in recent years, I think we can all agree that it's pretty exciting to see him in a role like this. However, aside from John Cena, there's another shocking actor on the roster this time around. Sylvester Stallone Sylvester is an actor you don't really hear too much about anymore, but he took on roles like Rocky and Rambo in his younger years and even appeared in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 a few years back. We don't know how important his character will be for the new film, but we hope to see a lot of him. Finally, one of the most highly anticipated inclusions in the lineup of the Suicide Squad is the one and only Peter Capaldi. This is a man who needs no introduction, but in case you've been living under a rock for the last decade, Peter Capaldi played the Doctor in the Doctor Who franchise a few years ago. He starred in the series when it was in its prime but was eventually replaced by Jodie Whittaker in 2018. Again, it's difficult to say how big of a role Peter may have, but considering he's listed as one of the stars of the movie, it's safe to say he should have a pretty big role. According to the writers and director of the movie, it will be much different from the first film. 
it's hard to know what to expect, but James Gunn says that he drew a lot of inspiration from the older war films as well as direct inspiration from the Suicide Squad comics from the 1980s. Rather than create this film to be a direct sequel, he says that it will explore an entirely new story even though it will feature some of the original cast members from 2016. Even though the first movie was great in its own regard, I have to admit, it's refreshing to know that the writers will be starting from scratch and developing their own spin on this classic lineup of characters. Thankfully, unlike many other films of 2020, The Suicide Squad doesn't seem to have been impacted by the countless delays that plagued Hollywood throughout 2020. Instead, it seems like filming managed to wrap up in February of 2020, just a month before the world would be brought to its knees. At the moment, the film is expected to be released on August 6, 2021. What's very interesting about this is that it will not be an exclusive theater release. Rather, it will be premiering on HBO Max immediately, giving fans around the world a chance to watch it, rather than waiting for theaters to reopen. This is going to make it super difficult to compare sales to the original film, but it should make it much more easily accessible for viewers around the world, regardless of the political climate or safety issues that may be present in various states or countries. Stupid bats, you're ruining date night! The plot of the film hasn't been spoken about too much, but the description reads, Welcome to Hell, aka Belle Reve, the prison with the highest mortality rate in the USA, where the worst supervillains are kept and where they will do anything to get out, even join the super secret task force X. Today's do or die assignment, assemble a collection of cons including Bloodsport, Peacemaker, Captain Boomerang, Ratcatcher 2, Savant, King Shark, Blackguard, Javelin, and everyone's favorite psycho, Harley Quinn then armed them heavily and dropped them, literally, on the remote, enemy-infused island of Corto Maltese. Trekking through a jungle, teeming with militant adversaries and guerrilla forces at every turn, the squad is on a search-and-destroy mission with only Colonel Rick Flagg on the ground to make them behave, and Amanda Waller's government techies in their ears, tracking their every movement. And as always, one wrong move and they're dead. We'll see how this movie pans out, but I'm stoked. Thanks for watching, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.